So maybe you're vegan and you're craving some really good cookies. Or your friend or coworker just asked you to make them a vegan birthday cake. Where do you even start? Either way, you're looking around online and going, what the heck is vegan baking anyway? Don't you need butter and eggs to bake anything? Or is that the one where you can't use flour? How about sugar and oil? Are those things okay? So today on Ask a Vegan Baker, we're taking it back to basics and going over exactly what vegan baking is and what it isn't, what ingredients you can and cannot use, and how it's different from other things like gluten-free and keto baking. Let's do this. Okay, so first let's go over what vegan baking is. Being vegan means you're not using animal products in any way, and you're not supporting industries that use animals as a means to an end. So you're not wearing leather, you're not using cosmetics that were tested on animals, you're not going to the circuits where animals are forced to perform, and most obviously you're not eating meat. Or other animal products like cheese, and that means no milk, no eggs, and no butter. Yep, you heard me right. It means no milk, no eggs, and no butter. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't that like the basis of all baking? Yes, but there's other stuff you can use. Let's use a cake for example. In a non-vegan regular cake, your basic ingredients would be flour, sugar, oil, some kind of leavener, so baking soda or baking powder, eggs, milk, and sometimes butter. Now the first four ingredients in that list do not come from animals at all, so they're completely okay to use in vegan baking. Now the other ingredients we're gonna have to substitute. Now I have videos on finding substitutes for all of these ingredients here on the channel, so I'll make sure to put the links in the description below. And some other ingredients you might have to substitute include gelatin, which is not even vegetarian and super gross, cocoa powder and chocolate chips, which sometimes they put milk in it for no reason at all, and honey, which again, there's a video on that. Check it out. So when you're trying to figure out what ingredients you can use in vegan baking, just think, where does it come from? Does it have a face? If it has a face, can't use it. Okay, now Minnie just keeps knocking on the door every 30 seconds trying to get in. You put the girl in one video and she thinks she owns the place, so she's just gonna come in and out of these shots. Just don't mind it. Just, it's, it's a nice addition, right? The good news is plenty of things come from faceless places and gluten is one of them. Many people get vegan and gluten-free confused, but they're actually completely different things. Vegan means no animal products and gluten-free means no gluten, which can be found in wheat which is a plant, so it's totally vegan. Another thing that has nothing to do with veganism is a keto diet. According to the Mayo Clinic, a keto diet is high in fat and low in carbs. And a lot of people add a bunch of protein to that too. So a keto bake would have a lot of eggs, no wheat flour. That's like the complete opposite of a vegan bake. Another thing people get hung up on when it comes to vegan baking is the sugar content. Now let's remember one thing, vegan baking does not equal healthy baking. So you're gonna need some sugar in there to make it taste good, but it shouldn't be more than a regular bake. So you see, vegan baking is not that complicated. In fact, it's pretty easy to understand. Just remember the rule. Where does it come from? Does it have a face? When you do that, you'll remember that gluten doesn't have a face, so it's totally fine to use, and keto, it's a completely different thing. I hope this video helps you get started on your vegan baking journey. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other questions about vegan baking, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll answer them right here. And if you want more vegan baking recipes, if you're just getting started, I have a whole ebook full of them. It's called Vegan Baking 101 and I'll put the link in the description below. I will see you here next Wednesday and until then, stay curious. Now she thinks she's the star of the show. I think she's right. Are you done now? I think she's done now.